Hey everybody, doing things a little bit different in this video for you today. Going to run a little bit more like a TV show, just to change things up and keep it fresh. Today we're bringing in a guest tire for you, and uh, I'm not going to be the one tying, but the guy that invented the fly is coming along with us to fish and show us how to fish the fly, and then we're going to sit down and tie it. So if you just want to skip ahead to the tying part, go ahead, fin flip to the end. But uh, I really think you need to sit down and watch this video from start to finish and learn how to fish this very productive fly. I promise you, you'll catch lots of fish on it. Holsinger from HolsingersFlyShop.com. Today I'm fishing with Alex Caliveris. Uh, he brought a fly up to show me. We've been fishing it today. He's been hammering the fish on it. Uh, just going to give you a couple glimpses of one like this one he caught here. You just saw him pull it out. Uh, nice little fly. He calls the fly the goblin. It's working real well for us today. I caught a couple on it and he's caught a couple. We're going to show you some clips of the fish we caught. Then we're going to go back to the shop and we're going to show you how to tie this fly. So uh, sit back, watch our video, um, learn from Alex how he fishes it. We're trying to get you some shots, how he fishes it, just kind of like a, a guy fishes a mini. Is there any other techniques you use? Or? Just the basic down natural strip stream. Yeah. A lot of down and across is working, um, swinging it like a streamer, stripping it. I actually have been fishing this as a nymph pattern lately and uh, casting it upstream, dragging it across the bottom in this hole. I, I'll have a clip or two of that too to show you here. But uh, it's a real great fly. I hope you enjoy watching the video. <laughs> I'm speechless. Well, we've worked for this fish for the past 
15 minutes. I put it right around 19, 20 inch brown trout on the goblin fly. The fly I've created myself over two years ago on a lonely night down in the basement, never thinking it would admit to anything. And here it is, two years later, catching trophy trout. All right, we're back off the creek now. We're going to show you how to tie the fly that we've been catching all the fish on today. Um, you just saw that really nice brown trout we caught, about 19 inch, uh, on the goblin we call it. Um, Alex came up with this a couple years ago. It's been working real well for him. He introduced me to it at uh, Carlisle down at the Fly Fishing Museum, and uh, I've been catching a ton of fish on it. He's going to show you how he ties it. I tie it probably slightly different, but this is how he ties it, and we're going to go with that. So what do you start with? All right, I start with a six sot tan thread from Danville. And we'll get started with that. We'll start right on the hook, about mid-level behind the eye. Roll the whole way back till about right above the bend of the hook. Clip your tag end off. And we'll start our tail. Now our tail, you can do I use Dunn, Dun, Rumpy Dunn uh, Marabou. We carry Wopsy here in the shop, so we'll have the Wopsy on hand that, that you can order. It's the same stuff. And just pull a clump, pull a clump out. You can usually what I do if I'm sitting down and tying a whole bunch of these, I'll pre uh, pre pull some of my Marabou, get some of the junk off the bottom. Um, you want to pull the portion of marabou that you're on, get the most action off of, and it's usually either at the very top of the plume or about the very bottom. And pull just about a thumb full off to get you started, and pull all your loose ends off, all your loose ends off the bottom there. Try to pinch everything tight together a little bit. So you see here. He, was at, he actually pulled this off of this section of the bottom. He wasn't using the top up here on this fly. He was using down here on the side. What we'll do, once you got it all cleaned up, we'll gap it right about to where the, the point, point comes out on the hook. And you're going about shank length? And about shank length. length. Just do a couple pinch, little tight pinch wraps there. Snip some of your garbage off the top there. This will help build up your body a little bit too. And okay. then just tie all that down. Okay, while, while we're at this point, what hook are you using there? I am using a size 8 Gamagatsu permit hook, permanent bonefish hook. I actually have been tying this on a size 12 streamer hook, a Daiichi. Um, been working just as well for me. The only difference, the bit main difference in the two hooks, he has a little bit wider hook gap with his hook, and uh, mine, his is a little bit heavier and it's a black killer. It's more salt water, handle the harder salt water. Okay, and then after that, it's time for the eyes. I just go with the basic cheap lead eyes, extra small, and the pearl color. Get one of them out. And these lead eyes carry a good bit of weight, so they're nice and big. They take up most of the head of your fly. Right where you tie down the last bit of your marabou is where you want to start your eyes. You want to leave enough room to be able to tie off on the end. So you just do your wraps and build that head up. You might wrap it 15, 20 times till. You get a nice little head built up on the top of it. You, you just crisscross it. Crisscross it. And you want to do about an eye length or about an eye, eye and a half length back is about how far back you want that. You want room to tie off when you're done with this. So you just keep, and this is about the actual longest part of the whole process is tying the eye on. I like to make that, put a good bit of thread on there. Don't short the thread out because if you use a little, if you use too less of thread, what you're going to do, and you don't tie it tight enough, after about two or three fish, the eyeballs are going to start spinning around the shank of your hook. Now, we're, I said there at the beginning, 
we both have different ways of tying it. It's tying the same flies in two different ways. The way I'll actually tie mine, I'll sit down at the vise to tie these, and uh, I'm, when I'm going to tie them, I'm going to tie a whole bunch of them at a time. So I'll tie all the dumbbell eyes on first, and then I'll come back and do my marabou tail and just do the rest of it. But I will actually put a little bit of uh, loon fly finish on and lock it into place. I'll tie the eyes on, lock them into place with the loon fly finish, go to the next one, tie the eyes on, keep Ready. going. Production style tie. And then after, that, after I get my top done, what I'll do is I'll go down and just do a figure eight about three or four times underneath them eyes. Tie it, tighten it up behind the back of the eyes and run the whole way back down to the tail then. And then you'll about be ready for your body. All right, for the body, I use the hairline dubbing dyed UV polar, polar olive brown chenille. You pull it out. You don't really need super long piece. All you need is about two inches to work with. Okay, now this color here, this is pretty much your all-purpose color here. Um, I've been tying it in white, and it work, works really well in stained water. Uh, you know, early season, imitating the mini. That's really what this is. When you put this in the water, it gets a real nice minnow profile to it, and that's why I think it works so well. I've been tying it in a pearl, pearl chenille, and it works real great in colored water. This is more or less your all-around color, right? That's correct. All right, and then what you do there is, right where you cut it, you usually have just a small little tag end. I'll have that face in the eyes, right behind the eyes. And I'll tie all that down right there. And then you start tying back towards the tail again. And you don't want to go too tight up against the tail because then once you start, if you have a rotary vise like I do, once you start spinning, it's going to catch that tail and it's going to pull it down underneath of your hook. So I'll cut it off right behind there and then I'll go back up to the eyes again. And just throw a quick half hitch on there. Just so your thread, thread's not spinning around. And then you're ready to start doing your body. Now you can, can pretty much wrap it by hand if you don't have a rotary vise. I have a rotary vise, so I tend to take advantage of the rotary vise, and I'll uh, spin it myself. But if you don't have rotary vise, you can just as easily wrap it by hand yourself and make it look just as good. I do mine with my rotary vise. That way, I can take and pull. I'll pull the fibers back with my fingers to keep them all in line. So what I'll do is I'll start spinning the rotary towards me, and wrapping, spin it with my left hand and wrap with my right hand at the same time double wrapping each wrap sometimes you pull it back it's not going to be a pretty looking pretty looking fly this was never created to be a pretty looking fly and you spin it off and then once you get up towards the back of your head wrap it down to about you have about a fingernails length of material left and you tighten up your thread that's when you get ready to tie it off I'll tie it towards me then and tighten down the remaining of the chenille. I'll do that four or five times and then I'll go in front of it, pull everything back and tie that down real nice and good. Give it a little bit of pressure. Spin that off and then clip the remainder of the chenille tag off. Once again, fold everything back the best you can. Wrap down the rest of that tag end you had sticking out the top. And at this point, what you're ready to do is jump forward into the front of your eyes then. Crisscross it off and build up that nose on the end of the eye. So you're basically finishing off the top of your head here. And once that's done, you're about complete. You just got a whip finish. Trim off whatever excess you have that's sticking out. You don't want to before you glue. And you're about you're about set there. And just pull the whip finisher. I whip finish all my flies. I'll do that about two times just to tie it up. Do it two more times. 
like Sean was talking about earlier, what you can do then at the end is run some head cement over the bottom of the body and over the top of the eyes. Clear cure, UV it, whatever you want to do. And that's the, that's the goblin finished. Alright, I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as we enjoyed making it today. We had a great time on the creek, caught lots of nice fish. I kind of sit back and showed him some new water today. I think you enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, I definitely did. Yeah, well, you ended up catching about 13 fish today? 13 fish. Great day on the water. 13 easy. and ended with a beautiful fish. So, uh, thanks again for watching as always. You can look us up on Facebook and uh, like us on Facebook if you would. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and keep watching for new videos coming out from us. And uh, thanks for putting up with something a little bit different. Remember, anything you see that we use to tie these flies in our videos, you can buy here from HolesingersFlyShop.com. So check us out at HolesingersFlyShop.com. Thanks again for watching. Mm -hmm.